Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rumor Garces. Today we're going to talk about this budget LED light. This is the newer SL60 LED light. I bought this newer SL60 LED light last year together with my Godox SL60 watts. This one is better than Godox SL60. I returned my Godox and then I sold uh, my second Godox SL60. What I like about on this newer SL60. First, on this newer SL60 watts, it's much quieter than uh, Godox SL60 watts. The fan on Godox, it's much louder. You can hear it from your microphone. This one, it's really silent. But this second version that I got from newer, it's a little bit louder from the first version that I got. I don't know if um, the one that I had for a year, the one that I'm using right now, is the second version. And I got the first version because this is my third one that I ordered. I returned my uh, second one and then I replaced it with this one. I asked them why it has a different um, fan and the fan noise. And it's really the same. The build are the same. Button are the same. All the same except for this air vent. The first one that I got, it's much quieter, but without this hole. This one's a little bit louder, but it's still quieter than the Godox SL60. And the second thing, on Godox, I, I had these two lights on the wedding day, and both of them are light up on left and the right side. While I was on the middle of the shoot, the Godox suddenly shut off. And then I have to wait for like 5 minutes or 10 minutes to turn it on. And then I noticed that I cannot use the full power on Godox, the 100% power, or else it's gonna keep shutting down. So I just stayed on like 60 to 70%. Not like on this newer SL60 watts, it never shut off continuously on two hours i use it a lot sometimes i when i'm on editing i only use this light continuously and it never shut down not like on godox it's it fails me like three times i had a real estate shoot and then suddenly shut down in the middle of um interview that's why i picked the newer in godox you can see the temperature of your LED light. Not like in newer, you can only see the percentage. Let's turn it on. Right there, it's only 10% and channel. That's all you have. In Godox, you have the channel, the temperature, and the percentage. And in newer, it took you so many turns before you hit the hundred percent but it's not a big deal it's all right but there's no delay and this one it's much i think it's much brighter than godox this one godox has a uh, 5000 lux this one has a uh, 54000 lux i know it's this one is much brighter but when i test it the godox looks like much brighter if it's in in the softbox and this one comes with the remote as well it has a 99 channel let's see yes up to 99 channel so we're going to set this one on channel 2 because I'm using the this one newer on channel one. To change the channel of newer, all you have to do is press the middle button and then rotate it. Okay, that's all set. And we're gonna turn this one on. 
and set it to channel 2. Okay? On Godox, there's a slightly delay on the remote. So when you press down the remote continuously, it doesn't synchronize automatically. You have to release the button before it will synchronize on the remote. On, on this newer, it will synchronize at the same time. So you can see it straight. So we'll, we're going to try it out. So I'm now on channel 2. And we are on 10%. And I'm going to press the plus. Did you see that? At the same time. In Godox, you have to release the button before it will sync on the LED light. In newer, you can change it the same time. But on the remote, it only says up to 99%, but 100% on LED light. Right there. One, two, there is no delay. That is why this newer is much better than Godox SL60. And in Godox remote, you can only lower it down up to 25%. In newer, you can lower it down up to 10%. And in this newer, it has a circle LED light. In Godox, you will get the square one. So. Uh, I don't know which one you prefer, but I prefer the circle one because it's giving you um, a soft edge. But you're not gonna notice it if it's in the soft box. But if you are going to use the the reflector, the seven inches reflector, and then you point it out on the wall, you can see it that it has an hard edge on. Um, Godox because it has a square LED light. Um, I don't have the Godox right now to show it to you. I wish that before I sold it, I tried it first and show you the difference of these two. And um, the fun of this one, it's much quieter than Godox. I have my mic right here and the one that I have it on softbox right now the one that I'm using it's much quieter than this so I send an email on newer if they can send me the one that I have right now and they said they don't know which one is quieter just try to order and if it's perfect for me just send the one that I don't like send it back the one that I don't like so that's what I did. The second one that I got, it's like a Godox. The fan is a little bit louder. But this one, I'm happy with this one. It's not that quiet as this one, but it's okay. And this one, it's much cheaper than Godox. This is only 109 Canadian dollars. Uh, less than uh, $100 on US. But it only comes with the Bowens cover, cable, and uh, remote control on Godox, you will get it around um, 177 to 185 depends on where you're getting it but you will get some accessories like a seven inches reflector barn door grids filters depends on which one you like but i prefer this one because it's much lighter smaller quieter and has a circle uh, led light and smaller knob easy to adjust and the remote synchronized accurately not like in Godox that has delay so um, yeah so I think this one is much better than Godox SL60 so if you are looking for a cheap budget LED light this one is the one that I suggest you're not gonna get wrong on this one so um, thank you. That's all for now. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so I can make more videos like this. So thank you and see you in the next one. Peace!